Good evening. It's September 5th, 2020. I'd like to welcome you to uh, this page. My intention in making this video is to bring some hope. If you happen to be feeling a little or a lot disconnected or despondent or pessimistic or any of the lesser um, ways of viewing what our world is undergoing when you look across humanity and you probably feel discouraged. The intention of the Liberty Tree back in 2003 when I had a huge awakening of my heart and I would say a direct experience with one's higher mind which we all are here to do. We're all here for that. Um, and to be those divine expressions of our higher minds or our pure nature. Many words, but enlightened uh, qualities. Anyway, in 2003, when a heart expansion happened and then we were simultaneously in a situation with 911 war on terror as the answer or the vibration coming from America after 911 and simultaneously in 2003 around the same time there was the SARS virus in China that originated in Wuhan and you know so there were these these things that were in my consciousness and a higher level that made me very in, uh, intensely aware that we needed to reflect to each other our goodness, our light, our divinity, our positive aspects of humanity. 2003, I was a baby on the path, but I was on the path of using my mind to transform myself, to find limiting beliefs, to find insecurities, to find, you know, karma, anyway, the inner process of transformation was well underway when then this huge awakening happened. And the result of that was simply to help manifest um, a form of light in the form of a liberty tree made with real dollar bills and real human intentions gathered just reflecting to each other in 2003 like hey you know we don't answer problems with violence we have love in our hearts we want to see the benefit of all beings we have an instinctive care and reverence for mother earth these type of of qualities that we all can have but are really submerged and really being suppressed, especially right now. So I'm making these 33 day videos to help open a door of great possibility and destiny in the United States of America to use our free will and our money, our dollar bill um, to form a entity that doesn't yet exist. So the Liberty Tree is a unity tree. It is a tree for Democrat and Republican. But it's a tree for people who are not satisfied with Democrat or Republican. It's a tree of the future. It's the tree of our unified consciousness and intentions coming together. So it is a spiritual tree rooted in our spiritual nature. And by 2020, I would think enough Americans have had enough time to have a spiritual path to recognize that there is a tremendous need for a spiritual party political party so important because the political realm is where form world decisions are being made that affect the quality of life of other living beings 
and if Democrat and Republican have are still in the base qualities of um, violence, violence, both of them are definitely entrenched in violence, so I don't even need to give more examples. If violence is fundamentally incongruent with your heart intelligence, then the Liberty Tree is for you. Have you maybe just marginalized violence as, oh, well, it's not okay. I'm not actually punching somebody or putting a knee on their neck and, and killing them or dropping a bomb in Middle East. I'm just a periphery. I'm just an American citizen. What can I do? You can do everything. You are the people. And when we, the people, have gathered we can do anything, including guiding this country into the light. So the Liberty Tree is a consciousness that is calling to all of us. And um, what would I say? You know, I, w I kind of want to talk to you tonight and tell you what I would tell myself, what I wish someone was telling me, because I am feeling like I'm, I'm standing alone since 2003 um, and with a, a profound faith in our divinity and our goodness coming together because I read something today and I wrote it down um, let me see ah enough people Serving in harmony can change the most calcified condition and create an influx of love with an inspired movement to heal the breach between the caves of the base error of human conditioning up into the eternal divine. And these individuals will reflect pure genius and social order will reflect the kingdom of heaven rather than police state. So when I read that today, it really resonated. And I said, wow, I needed to hear that. And I feel like you probably need to hear that too. Because the power of the Liberty Tree is the power of our consciousness. But we have so much goodness in, in our human race, but we don't have a center place to bring it. So we have all these good people, but they're caught in the cogmires of Democrat or Republican and they think well I don't like a lot of that but that's better than this one and this one's better than this hey why settle why not create our divine party why not why we keep playing it the same way so I noticed that there's a push everybody's wanting to raise money for Democrat raise money for Republican and you know and I just had to comfort myself today because I haven't pushed the Liberty Tree onto anybody. In 2003, I wanted Amici, I, I wrote a letter to 33 of the men who had come in synchronistically to my life, who I considered to be wise men. I had not come in contact with Tibet and the Dalai Lama and Lamas and Rinpoches at this point in my spiritual path, but nevertheless, I had encountered some spiritual um, events in my life and men that were connected to those events. So I put faith that the real connection of light and love between me and those men, and also I sent it to Oprah Winfrey and Amici in India, because I felt like if we gather all of the different people that are on a divine spiritual path into one place, we will bloom our golden age. We will direct what happens next in the consciousness. And America is the place where we show what democracy can do as a people, by a people, for a people, and then it interconnects with all the people of the world because they want it too. It's the place for our spiritual gifts to awaken and to live freely. And there is a tremendous push to not let the spirit of love or spirituality or Tibetan Buddhism to move through our world. 
There is a squashing of the light. There is a iron fist. There is a lockdown. There is a masking. There is a surveillance. There is a fear. Don't talk to each other. Don't trust each other. La, 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 la. If you too are feeling overwhelmed by that crazy, hard to manage daily life that humans are creating on purpose, if you don't want to be in that cycle anymore, the Liberty Tree is for you. If you want to see free Tibet, free Hong Kong, free Taiwan, the Liberty Tree is for you. If you want to see an end of war on terror and training our great military to do great activity, not destructive, not connected with arms. Humans were not created to manifest arms and destroy each other. Stop calling it great. You know, maybe everybody had to do everything up to this point in human civilization to get to where we are now, to have our different countries and our different cultures. But forget about all that past. We have to come together in our spirit of love and respect for care and harmony with the earth. Democrat is not going to get you there. Republican is not going to get you there. But we the people who come together will direct Democrat or Republican if that's the way it has to be. I say, you know, we have, have enough people then it doesn't matter who the spokesperson is. It's the, it's the consciousness of the mass numbers of people. It's an enlightenment activity tree. And it doesn't exist because I believe people don't believe in our goodness. We don't believe in our power. We don't believe in our love. We don't believe in the power of love. And it's just much easier to believe, well, the past was crappy. We had world wars and... We'll just try to survive it the next time. Or, you know, we just get too caught up in mediocrity. Well, mediocrity went out the window for me in 1999. So there is only one view that I can hold after my interceding with the inner, inner mother clear light. The only view I can hold is a heavenly view for our humanity. And that's what I pour my faith in. And that's the roots of this tree. And we need a place where we have those voices tell each other, we are good. We can heal. We can purify our negative karma. But we must grow up and stop telling ourselves we're so good. When you are arming each other, you are poisoning each other, and you are lost in debate between Republican and Democrat, wake the frig up. Stop putting your faith into that which is making the problem. We need that heart intelligence awake. If you do not see that Democrat Party was a problem, just in this 21st century, from 2008 to 2016, it showed you the Democratic consciousness, which is including partnering with CCP, and bombing eight countries in the Middle East and building an infrastructure for surveillance and a police state. Fact. If you think Republican is your answer and from Y2K to 2008, we had the George Bush era where we receive a hit supposedly from the outside. We never investigated from the inside because Republican is not spiritually responsible. We don't look within for the solution or the problem. We point the blame out there. And then what did the Republican do? What is their consciousness? Vengeance. Just another reason to use America's military because America is a military business. We build arms, we sell arms, we use arms, we distribute arms. We are highly addicted, like crack cocaine, to arms. And we say it's the law and the protection. And then Donald Trump says, and we have great respect for our great military. Here again, if you are putting the answer to your problems in the answer being the consciousness of that which 
violate so many of our civil liberties, George Bush just started ripping them to shreds. And they progressed through the Obama era, and now here we are. We almost don't even have a right to decide whether or not we put a muzzle over our face. Because the government is going to law, make it a law. How much, oh, forget the civil liberties of being able to assemble. Free speech is starting to get banned and everything. So Republican and Democrat have both participated in the tremendous problem. We need to not, in 2020, put our faith in either one of these. Our faith is seeing where they broke down the system and bringing the people's good intentions to building up back the system. But if you are in the consciousness that thinks you're going to rebuild the system by, by adding more military, adding more weapons, adding more money, trillions towards growing the armed forces, forget about little kids who need to eat. Forget about getting sure that the schools and everybody has clean water and the elders have good, healthy food, not watered-down GMO and impure water, which is what I know is true that they get. The cheapest food you can get and not even pure water. We have a crisis of humanity, of not caring and putting money as the only factor as to how you do business. Well, if it makes money, just do the business. Forget about what the business is because money became the priority. Well, the Liberty Tree has money, but it's only a dollar. It's only asking you for one dollar, but what it comes with that dollar is your faith, your trust, your allegiance, your willingness to go and abide with that which is arising from the tree consciousness as we together are growing that, that network, that building of all which is from the ground of goodness. We don't have the ground of goodness yet. We had the three branches and we had the good intentions, but we don't have a ground of goodness and we are the people and it does come from us. So the $1 mixed with the Liberty Tree is a conscious and a spiritual and a dollar that comes with our allegiance with the trust. And it, it, you can consider the Liberty Tree also incorporating mother the mother inside of us, the mother that instinctively wants to care. She is not trying to figure out how to take advantage of you. She's not trying to figure out how to plant grenades in the sandbox where the kids are playing. The mother is sane and bountiful and loving, and we have lost contact with our mother. I don't mean birth mother. I mean the divine feminine. And that's also what this spiritual liberty tree is about, reconnecting to our divinity, our divine masculine, our divine feminine. So if you're tired of seeing all of the negativity, you don't have to subscribe right now, just let it percolate. Because I don't even have a liberty tree place for you to go. I mean, I have libertytree.com, libertytree2020.com, because after 2020, it doesn't matter. If we don't get it right right now, forget it, people. So I'm going to say to you what I want to say to myself. Have great faith in the goodness of humanity. Have great faith in one individual can affect the whole. Have great faith that love is the guiding force of our, our future when we allow it to be. And remember that even though you might feel alone, you're not alone. Good things can come and will come. And I think that's all for tonight. I'm going to go outside and meditate. My neighbors had a free outdoor sofa and a little side table that they gave me today. So I have a little outside patio under the stars with the goats. And I have a little Jesus candle. And I'm going to go do a meditation, a guided meditation to remove any conditioning of blocks that I might have, subconscious blocks that I might not even know about that are holding me back 
from being able to be a vessel to help all of us, myself included, unify and help ground in our kingdom of heaven on this earth. So it's, it's really about the will of our higher selves coming together. And if you think we have a higher self, and if you think we can do better, and if you think that you can think outside the box, that, um, you know, the same old, same old way of fixing things maybe isn't working, then consider, well, I don't even want to ask you to subscribe. I just want you to feel it. If you feel it, that's enough, because that's where we're going to build the trust. And eventually, when there is a place or a website or somewhere, you will already be connected, not with me, with the spirit, the spirit of liberty, the spirit of our freedom, the spirit of our divine gifts, the spirit of true, authentic care coming in to be reflected as the power of this country to be reflected out to the businesses and to the nations of the world because we are a sampling of those businesses and nations of the world. We are the employees and we are all tribes gathered here together. All different bloodlines are gathered in America citizenship. We're not just Caucasian and we're not just African American. We are Norwegian and German and Austrian and Chinese. We are all of it. Now is the time for the spiritual age. Now is the time that we stand up and say, I'm going to give love a chance. And love is really ready to play. You know, love isn't going to chain you. Love isn't going to beat you. Love isn't going to arrest you for saying you want the Dalai Lama to come home. Love isn't going to throw you in jail in Hong Kong because you say you want freedom. So I call on Oprah Winfrey to join this Liberty Tree. I call on Oprah Winfrey to interconnect with her people. And let's get the goodness of American Democrats and the goodness of American Republicans. My mother is a Republican. Oprah is a Democrat. You know, my, we had George Bush and Oprah went for Obama. But now may these two women symbolically see that there is something we can manifest out of this. This is a profound opportunity. All of this horrible COVID and war and 2020 really crunch time. This is a profound opportunity for us to gather as one and ascend out of so many lower base qualities. That's the dream of America. Ascend keep our feet on the ground, but come into our higher consciousness. That's what we're here to do. Democrat, oh, Biden, and Republican, Donald Trump, is not. They do not speak in the tongue of love. They speak in the tongue of male power and different ways of deception, using nice words, and building militaries. And I say no to both. And if that makes me have to stand all by myself, well, I've been standing alone for a long time, and it's okay with me. It's okay with me. But I don't think deep down in your heart you're going to leave me standing alone. I think we're a team. I pray we're a team. And I believe that this beautiful We the People team is going to bring light to the planet because we are the light. Let nothing suppress our light. Amen. Peace be with you. I'll see you tomorrow night. Aloha.